Happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. Even in solution. In out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Todd Abert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you miss any of my future videos. In front of us we have the Sonra SN1313UAT. This is an AM, FM, shortwave, portable radio with MP3 player and a flashlight. <laughs> I got this off Amazon for a total of $9.99 on a recommendation of a friend saying he really enjoyed his. I should give it a try. Well, here it is. $9.99. Rocking. Big lion hanging out there. <laughs> Don't know if he's going to eat you. <laughs> um, new, I guess. All right. There's a picture. Uh, there's some information on the bottom there. So what else we got? Side here goes over some of the features, which we'll cover. All right. Pretty simple stuff. Okay. okay what's this? Oh, yeah. It runs on regular batteries, too. I forgot about that. Oh, and a whole big thing on the back showing how to operate the radio. Operating instructions. There you go. With a big sticker over the spot. <laughs> there you go. Okay. So let's open this up and see what's on the inside. So when I opened this up first, I noticed something peculiar. There was no bag for my radio. So I'm like, uh-oh, no bubble wrap, no nothing. That's not a good sign. So let's just take everything out. Dump everything over there. Set it over there for a second. Empty box, I think. Yep. Okay. So first thing to give you, charging cable. There you go. It's a mini USB, which I actually like better. It's a little bit more robust. Um, you don't feel like you're fiddling with it as much, or you're going to break anything when you're taking and plugging it in. So nice deal. Um, this held the battery, VL5C. Um, let's see what else I got. Oh, yeah, here we go. Yeah, anyway, I had some extras. Carry strap. Nice. Got to put that on. Let's see what else we got. A hey, More instructions. Okay. If you guys need it, I don't think you do. I think you can figure this out pretty easily on your own. Attention, please. Attention, please. Is that a song? I don't know. All right. So let's get to the radio. Here it is. <laughs> I love these little corner stickers. I just leave them on there. Um, yeah, it's uh, got a generic look to it for sure. <laughs> it only costs 10 bucks, but I have another radio that's pretty cool that costs 10 bucks. And it's my, uh, I'll use this for size comparison. Oh, it's a little heavy right now. This is my Black Gold. You guys might remember this one, the RS RS905. Yeah, this is a bad boy. This only cost me $9.99. Dial's not that accurate. This one's better, a little better on the dial. But uh, this radio has some good audio to it. But uh, right now you can't get this one. It's not available in stock anywhere. But uh, I'll put links to this one down below just in case it comes back. But uh, awesome radio. And uh, I'll show you a little something fun with that maybe at the end of the video of this one. All right, so I'll keep that there. But the Sonra. I was already showing you examples. I like to get dimensions first. Um, so we're about six inches long, four inches high, and two inches in depth. So quite a chunky little radio. Um, let's see. I got uh, CC Skyway we can put next to it. Give you an idea for size. Yeah. This Sonra is a chunky. <laughs> I like the name Sonra. It's the name of the lion on the cover of the box. <laughs> Love it. All right. And then what else do I got? CC Pocket, I'm thinking can fit pretty much on the front of this thing. CC Pocket in the house. Who doesn't have a CC Pocket yet? Yeah, they're pretty expensive, but pretty cool radio nonetheless. Liking it. All right, and of course we have the Invincible Iron Man. He's the man with the master plan. He can spin it like no one can. He likes radios from Japan. He's Iron Man. All right, yeah, I know I'm silly, but I have fun with it. So you got to have fun with it too. <laughs> Anyway, Sonra. Um, so yeah, AM, FM, shortwave. Great. So let's go over some uh, features. See left-hand side. What's this? It's a light. <laughs> uh, it's kind of cool. They got a clear window. Then they got an opaque piece of plastic over four surface mount LEDs. So let's we'll go ahead and turn it on here and blind everything. But uh, actually kind of handy. All right, and they have a flashlight on your radio. You never know when you're going to need that. Cool thing about that is in the dark, you can do this. Let's see if I got some. You could take a piece of white paper. This is pretty cool. Turn on your light. Oh, come on. You do this. And then 
Let me turn off my light for effect. Uh, I guess I turned them both off. See, there you go. You can read your dial with the light. <laughs> and I noticed I could run the LED, um, and it didn't affect the reception of the radio. But that's pretty neat. So you can't see it that way, but you can see it when you do this. Yeah, little trick I learned. Pretty cool setup. All right. That's the light. <laughs> Spent two minutes on the light. That's awesome. <laughs> um, so there you go. Uh, let's see, front of the radio, we have a speaker there, which is about two and a quarter inches. It's rather tinny sounding, nothing spectacular. Behind a cheesy metal speaker grill. Again, this plastics are really generic, fingerprint magnet stuff. Um, we got a sticker on the front, TF player, USB player, lithium battery. High quality torch, sweet, portable loudspeaker. Yeah, it's loud, but uh, will hurt your ears. <laughs> All right, I guess I could keep this up here. You know what, I'm gonna lower the thing down. Fiddle with this, here we go. All right, so we got a switch here. This uh, toggles your music playback for your MP3 and your SD card, um, your, your USB flash drive and your SD card. Uh, then you got radio select. And then somebody was playing a joke on us. <laughs> I think it's an, with this numbering too, 1313. And most people would consider it unlucky. <laughs> this radio has some history and I'm gonna show you some pictures. But look at the buttons. <laughs> you, got, you got forward where normally back is. You got back where normally pause play is, and you got pause play where forward is. <laughs> and that's exactly how they work. So if I screw something up when I'm hitting these buttons, <laughs> like I was just sitting there on the couch, I'm like, next, and I hit this button, and it's pausing, and I'm like, where's the audio? <laughs> anyway, fun stuff. Sonra. I'll see. Music charge. Okay, so music light. Okay, when you're playing music, I think that flashes, and when you're charging, that flashes. Let the world hear our sound. Okay, they will. Um, FM, 87.5 to 108. A log scale. Yeah, you can kind of see that where the little pointer is. It's cool. Uh, AM, we got 520 to 1730. Yeah, I, I don't know. What, there must be a misprint. Um, down here, shortwave bands. Not great coverage. 6.6 um, .6 to 15.9. You can see how they broke it up into the five bands. During the day, it's actually useful. But in the evening, not so much. Um, maybe these two bands, the first two bands, but yeah, during the even, uh, afternoon, though, I was picking up quite a bit in these last three bands. That was fun. Okay, so over on the right-hand side, we have a volume control. We have the input to charge the battery, the BL5C. We have auxiliary in, which, you know what, you're not going to bother with because the speaker's too tinny. Why would you even try, unless it's a headset radio only? It's the only reason why I think I'd use that. Uh, here's the tuning uh, knob, which is real smooth. There's one spot where it hangs up on the dial, like right in the middle. You'll see it jump a little bit. It doesn't affect the tuning, which is good. Top of the radio, you saw the switch for the light. Actually, off and on seem about right, I think. Yeah, I think that's right. Um, here we go. Memory SD. So micro SD card, memory card. Memory card, this is USB flash drives, which when you use the USB flash drive, I have one here. Um, I'll play it and show you. It makes little ticking sounds. Um, over here, we have a band select, FM, AM, and then shortwave 1 through 5. Spot for the carry strap. Antenna, this antenna, it extends out to 18 inches. And uh, it does not swivel. Okay, I thought it did. <laughs> I almost went to bend it. Break. That'd be funny if it broke off on the video. I would not laugh. Yeah, I'd be pretty upset. <laughs> um, here we have a vented case. Um, here's some more information there in case you guys need it. I think 1730 there on AM also. Okay. And then behind here is a cool setup. Get this open. We have our BL5C battery, and then we have a big open battery compartment there where you can put two D cell batteries. Okay, pretty cool, but I probably will do something different with this radio. Okay, this radio costs $9.99. This radio is fantastic as an experimenter radio. Yes, I'll explain that right now. What the heck? So when I first got this radio, this thing did not work right. <laughs> FM was working, shortwave was working, got to AM, and it was like dead. Like I could barely pick up my locals. And it was really weird. And um, I was talking to my friend. He's like, well, mine's working. So I'm like, all right, open it up. Because I figured it was a return because it didn't come in bubble wrap. So I opened this thing up. And here, I'll take some pictures. I got some pictures. I'll show them. I'll show you, what, show you what I found inside the radio. So I opened it up. And lo and behold, there is a severed ferrite wire to the antenna. And you can tell what severed it. The D-cell compartment. It's really tight against the enclosure. So when you put it together, it just snapped the wire off. The one side, it doesn't. It looks like it's about to snap, but it's in pretty good shape. I magnified it and looked at it. 
So yeah, it, it was a bummer. This was it. And I'm like, how do I fix this? I never really fixed a broken ferret wire before. I don't have any of the uh, special wrapping wire or anything like that. So in this next picture, I fixed it with a little piece of Kyanar wire, 30 gauge, and ran the uh, lead up underneath the PCB since it's a through hole spot, which I was surprised it wasn't just surface mount. It's a through hole. So I just ran it from the bottom up and there we go. Fixed it. Now this thing works perfect. <laughs> now I'm picking up long range stations. Back to the radio. Yeah, so pretty cool setup. Um, yeah, so it's definitely a tinkering radio. So if you get it for $9.99 and it doesn't work on AM, uh, if, you, if you know how to solder, you can do what I just did. Pretty simple to fix. Uh, it was pretty pretty easy to fix. I loved it. So it's fun to fix your own stuff <laughs> and troubleshoot um, and be able to take things apart. It comes apart very easy, by the way. There's no issue there. Um, and then real quick before we get started uh, on other stuff, I wanted to show you a cool thing. So I plan to modify this radio because I just showed you those pictures. I plan on putting an either an 18650 cell holder or a 26650 cell holder in here. And I'm going to take and disable the BL5C and run those leads to those uh, in the battery compartment. I'm going to show you what I mean. I did that with my RRS. Yes, we're going back to this radio. Um, pretty cool setup in here. Wait till you see this. So instead of using two D cell batteries in here, I decided because the battery in here was only like a 1200 milliamp hour, kind of weak. I wired in a 3100 milliamp hour. This is removable, of course. I can put whatever battery I want now, 18650. And it's attached really tighter, so this is not going to fall or move, which is nice. And I wired it to the same connection that the internal 18650 was using. So, excellent setup. I love it. Now, a like I said, a 26650 cell will fit in here perfectly with a cell holder. And I'm thinking about doing that in the future with this radio, possibly, or the other one. So... Yeah, I thought it's this cool little mod you can do. You know, just ideas. You know, I think the cell holder costs like a buck. You don't have to buy these expensive cells. They have cheaper ones out there you can pick up. But I try to buy it from a nice manufacturer. If I remember, I'll put some links below where you can check out different batteries. Um, I know Amazon has some. If I can find good ones on Amazon. But typically, if you go direct to the companies, they're a little cheaper. All right, so there we go. Yeah, rock on. Oh, the cable that goes to that radio. So there, that's how that is. Um... And if you need polarity, if you guys can see that, there's the polarity positive goes to the right. <laughs> In case I forget. All right, so there it is. Let's go talk about this radio and get it tuning. So FM reception report, um, good and good. So if you guys know what that means, uh, I start at fair. goes all the way to excellent. So fair, okay, good, very good, excellent. Most radios fall in between the okay and good category with 48 stations found. This one found 61 FM stations. Um, above average. DSP radio, pretty impressed for $9.99. Um, decent. The uh, audio sounds good on FM with this little speaker. Gets a little tinny sounding uh, on the highs uh, when you're listening to talk. So you gotta turn it down a little bit uh, and some music, which you'll see or hear hopefully here in a second. So yeah, um, but FM overall was impressive. It has a good rating, above average. Uh, so you're buying something that's a little bit better than the average analog radio. Loving that. Okay, so let's go ahead um, I can't uh, tune the FM band to play music, so I'm going to play music off my SD card here, right here, micro SD. We're going to plug it in. Oh, you know what? I wanted to show you the playback on the USB. Now, the USB makes a little clicking sound. Um, and I, I don't know if it's this drive or if it's just the USB circuit. Let's give it a try. Let's hope it's not jamming too loud. Johnson's Wax Program with Fibber McGee and Molly. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's a, there's a ticking noise, and it's annoying in some cases. With action, it's like a turn signal sound. Okay, so we'll go ahead and just turn that off. We'll use the SD card, which I did not notice any ticking on, so let's use that instead. Issue with the SD card is it sticks up. <laughs> <laughs> so you'll snap that off real quick. So let's go ahead and just do a minute or two of audio, then get tuning this radio. Yes, and you relax too, folks, if you can, because here he is again, Petri Wine. As you can tell, no, old, world. old world, <laughs> the signal or old time radio shows, the whistler.
Oh, one cool thing I noticed about this cheap 999 999 radio. 9999. No, it's not that expensive. 999. They have gold, red, black. But watch this. You can fast forward a sucker. Yeah. Awesome. Love that. It's really touchy as you know, so it's either on or off right there at the bottom. On. So as you know, there's no headphone jack, which is good, otherwise you probably blow your eardrums out. <laughs> okay, there you go. Let's turn that off. Um, let's disconnect that. Let's uh, jump to shortwave, see if we can find anything on there real quick. Like I said, during the day, it was really nice. I got a little wire I'm going to use. A PL380. i got to dig it out here. Um, this one was uh, that's like a 12-foot wire that was in the... PL380's uh, radio box. I have it hooked up to my uh, inside of my window and the blinds uh, facing west. So it's inside of the house still, but it does a pretty good job. Let's go ahead and turn the radio on. Let's see. Let's go to shortwave or FM, AM, shortwave one. Hopefully, pick up something on shortwave one. Tune to the bottom of the band there. Go to radio. I did notice some uh, medium wave bleed through a little bit on the third and fourth bands. Not too terrible, but it was there. There you go, got a little WBBM uh, bleed through there. Okay, cool. I don't know who that is. Uh, right here it's a little snug. Go a little quicker here.
Earlier I was getting uh, WWV on 10 megahertz here, right on the money. Going for really quick. Don't expect to pick up much. It jumps a little bit in there, as you saw. Three that is plentiful here on Earth. Nor will it disappear until we exchange it for the palm branch. Sometimes it's hard to tell what if you got a station or if you got medium wave coming through. Okay, we'll call it there on a short wave. Alright. So yeah, it's it's better during the day. Evening, not so much. Getting our religious broadcasts. Uh, let's go to medium wave. Um, all the way, let's see. There's FM. And there's AM. This is cool. This is nice. Uh, so this is CHLO, uh, Brampton, Ontario, which is uh, 441 miles, 250 watts. Let me get my list here of stations. Um, yeah, so let's just verify here. I got my uh, Skywave, 10.04 p.m. Central Standard Time near Chicago. Just make sure that's not jamming away. Frequency. Man, there's a lot of dust underneath the screen. I'm going to have to take it apart and clean it. Okay. There you go. So they can tell it's them. Sweet. It's picking that up. I didn't think it would pick that up. Happy Monday, friends. Welcome back. What a week it's been. The world is... 560 WIND, Chicago. If you know nothing about anything, but you're different. It does get some birdie tones. You're informed. You're a patron. You love this country. The most likely, as you are looking for a target, um, to prevent... Forget where that volume is. I'm gonna see if this is 6:30. It's kind of music. This usually where it's at. Okay, so we're getting 6:30. I think there. It's CFCO, Chatham, Ontario. 310 miles, 6,000 watts in the evening. Sweet. Sometimes I can move it and get St. Louis over here. WSM, as in Mary, Nashville, Tennessee, 434 miles. Nice. This is 670 to the score um, by talking to somebody there. Uh, WSCR, Chicago. Advantages is that they constantly underestimate it. 
KWLW, Cincinnati, Ohio, 300 miles. They're not believing the garbage. The left is a guy, lovely media tells us. Chicago are familiar with the story of his family, how he lost his terrible hair. daughter, um, you know, suffered from uh, epi- epilepsy. 720 WGN. Just a slight hint of harmonics oh, there. He became a kind of a spokesperson for that. I think he was, you know... And that sounds good. 740 Zoomer Radio, CFZM, Toronto, Ontario. 460 miles, as you guys know. It always comes in good in my location. It was a cold Sunday out here in the San Francisco area. And... Uh, the nicest part of the night... Surviving R. Kelly, leaving Netherland. Uh, the two popes, he says. Should be 750. And, you know, I'm like, then the Epstein crack, then the Weinstein crap, uh, crack, and I'm like, wow. <laughs> 750 WSB Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, 630 miles. Got it in between there, between 740 and 760. That was nice. Everybody knew what was going on. What? Say something. And a lot, a lot of people knew about Epstein, and many of them were, I don't know, calming things on the planet. 760 WJR, Detroit, Michigan, 270 miles. I apologize if it gets loud and quiet really quick. That volume is a little tricky. And uh, I'll make them as we go on if you've seen them on my... The IG calls the five-day suspension of Whitney Young's principal... I want to begin, though, with Rick... I'm concerned about the message it sends. Or I thought it was pretty... You know, which could be very advanced to and was either complicit in the coach's scheme... Moving in the street, elite, ripping them to shreds. ...to it. Nancy Hardy, News Radio, 105.9 FM. It was Florida night. Trying to get 770, couldn't quite get it. This is 780, WBBM, Chicago. Chicago Historical Figures was recently rehabbed and expanded. There's no... Nothing... So I'm looking for something... Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 Well... 800, I think this is CKLW, Windsor, Ontario. Yeah. I don't know if I said the miles. Uh, 270 miles. I think that's right. Yeah. Helps people solve their debt problems. I often get asked for my And now you look at that Kyle Rudolph play in real time. Once again, real time game speed. Can you see Pat some appearance on that? I, I'm not so sure about that. I, I think I'm not so sure. WCCO Minneapolis, uh, Minnesota, about 300 miles. It gives you a general idea what this radio can do. Any story you want. Let's go to the top of the dial. In fact, let me let me read you the the the. the, the from la charpente, mais il voit pas. Alors il pousse une petite porte, une petite porte qui amène à la charpente. And it's getting serious. They've now lost six in a row. They lose. <laughs> She's in London with a place for mom. Nobody knows your parents. Buy a pair of shoes and a ball. Thank you very much. Artificial intelligence and what do we? 
Uh, and I'm done. And the number's 46 on this game. Uh, do you expect it to be like the Seattle-Philly game? Uh, we hear all about these great things about Green Bay's defense. Uh, I, you know, Seattle's defense played great. There he goes, 1700. Rocking. This medium wave sounds great in the evening. It did really good in the daytime after I did that fix, as you saw there. So let's go ahead and turn this off. Do final thoughts on the Sonra SN1313 UAT. You don't know what that means. You are terrific. Yeah, I know it. <laughs> um, yeah, it, for $9.99, if you feel like giving it a shot, go for it. Just don't expect a whole lot. Um, if you're a tinkerer, great. If you just mind FM and shortwave in case the AM doesn't work because the antenna got broke off and you don't know how to fix it. You know, at least you got a backup BL5C battery. It's worth about three bucks. So then you have seven dollar FM radio. Um, you know what? It's it's fun. I mean, I enjoy I enjoy a challenge. And you got a flashlight. <laughs> Can't forget about the flashlight. So yeah, if you enjoy these uh, videos, give me a big like. You guys are awesome. If you like inexpensive shortwave radios that are like ten bucks, like this. Uh, this guy was ten bucks. Like this, this was a steal. I hope these come available again. I love this radio. That one I use all the time at night. And this one, I could do the same thing. I'm thinking about doing the mod for the battery. Um, you know, subscribe, hit the bell icon, get notified. Check out the links below. Have fun. Um, if you're a tinkerer, get one of these. Have fun tinkering with it. And, of course, um, third, comment below what you think about the 999 Sonra. Um, I'm loving it on medium wave. I think that's fantastic. The FM is really good. Um, as long as you don't have the volume too loud, it's easy to listen to. Uh, shortwave in a pinch, you know, if you feel like playing around on shortwave, um, it does work. All right, guys. Thanks for watching and hanging there with me, and we'll see you in the next video.